All right, mark your calendars, everyone, because today's the day I finally do it. I'm actually going to say something bad about an anime in this video, which, yeah, I know, I know, all right? Uh, we've been doing a lot of movie reviews lately, especially anime movie reviews, so I'm going to keep this vid short and fast, and hopefully things should be going back to normal a little bit with next week's video. But anyway, today's video, we're going to be talking about My Hero Academia, the movie Heroes Rising, and why I honestly, I just don't think it was that great of a movie. <laughs> Yeah, so sorry, it was it was kind of weird for me to do one of the intros that we would normally do all hyped up and stuff when this video is, you know, actually kind of negative <laughs> about the movie. But anyway, My Hero Academia Heroes Rising is the second and possibly the last film in the series, and it's about the students of Class 1A going out to do a service project for their school, where they have to do hero work on an island for a bit. Then, a team of villains led by Nine, whose quirk is to steal, you probably guessed it, nine abilities at a time shows up, stating that one of the residents, a young boy named Katsuma, has a quirk he needs to steal in order to survive. And then the students have to save him from Nine and his gang. Alright, let's go ahead and start with one of the biggest positives of the movie. The animation. So for those of you who don't know, the animation staff was actually split up between the fourth season of the anime and this movie, and I think it's absolutely clear what the effort went into. It's the movie, if you couldn't guess. Uh, the animation here was really dynamic and really fun, and all of the fights are really well animated, especially the final fight. If you've seen some of the earlier fights in the show, like All Might vs. Nomu or Deku vs. Bakugo, I think it's definitely as good as those, though somehow I don't think that anything that the series has put out has topped Deku versus Todoroki in terms of pure animation quality. Alright, so with my biggest positive out of the way, let's talk about my absolute biggest negative with this movie, the writing. Before I get into that fully, I want to address the biggest thing that I've seen about this movie so far, the spoilers for anime only. Let me explain. So basically, I would say out of the whole movie, there is only one really major spoiler for the manga, and that's in one line. It has no, I would say, huge significant bearing on the movie's story. It's It really is just a one-line thing, but it, it could be a big deal for you if you're not cut up on the manga. Other than that, the only real stuff you could be a little bit confused about are costume changes, some new attacks, and one character being introduced, though he's only in it for like two scenes of the movie, one at the beginning and one at the end. But anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and get into my actual negative. And I'm not one to talk about writing from a truly technical film analysis -y type of way, but I can tell you right now, get it? Because like it's writing, like I'm saying right now, you know, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I can tell you right now that the, I thought the writing on this movie was just kind of sloppy. First of all, Nine as a villain is just kind of generic, and so is his gang. His whole motivation is just like, you know, uh, the strong should rule the weak. And that's obviously, like, that's generic, bland villain stuff. He doesn't really have a, a, an interesting backstory or motivation. And I think what really makes that worse is that it comes from a series like My Hero Academia, who typically does have characters with interesting motives and backstories, like Todoroki, Gentle, Stain, and even though he's a second character, even Twice has a fairly interesting story behind him. Secondly, my biggest problem was that the villains felt too much like busy work or that they were just kind of, in essence, broken for literally no reason. Take this guy, Chimera for example. His quirk is basically a few things. One, he can turn parts of his body into animal parts like Sun Eater, but without eating. Two, he can grow in size at will. Three, super strength, speed, and durability. Four, he can breathe fire. What? Like, like it's blatantly obvious to me that he was kind of just there to, to distract like six to eight of the main cast of the film instead of just making more villains or just giving him one basic set ability that happens to naturally counter those of his opponents. And it was really annoying to me. Nine, the, the main villain, he has the absolute most broken quirks. Even All For One, whose entire point was that he was like over a hundred years old and had stolen some of the most crazy cool quirks to use against All Might, it wasn't as broken in this guy. And, and Nine has like complete mastery over everything too. And he's basically just 
god for most of this movie. Like, one easy solution would be to take some of his abilities and then just make new minions with those abilities instead, because then you would get more fun action sequences with actual characters from the film, and he doesn't just feel like some overpowered guy that's there to make the final fight more fun. And I don't really like how these guys just have to be super strong for what feels like the sake of being super strong. Those two issues just really took away from the movie for me, especially the second one. Anyway, my final thoughts. My, my Hero Academia Heroes Rising is a fun movie that genuinely tries to be as great as it can, but I think it's bogged down by clumsy writing that doesn't hold up to what the anime or the manga are capable of, and for that reason, I don't think it really holds up to be watched more than once. And Honestly, if you're really not that into the series, if you're more of a casual fan, you might just be able to skip this one or rent it later on. Anyway, that's going to wrap it up for this video. If you liked the video, please make sure to leave it a like, and let me know what you guys thought of the movie or any other movies you're excited about in the comment section down below. Again, movie reviews, uh, we're probably going to be taking a little pause on those. The next major anime movie is in April, and other than that, the only there's only one movie that I can think of that's coming out that I really want to review. And honestly, I don't know if I will. But to be honest, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Random Recorders, peace out.